I was stuck in this very hierarchical organization. I was so hard on the staff that they were afraid to come and talk to me. And I can remember the pain, the frustration, the uncertainty. I'd left the corporate world at, at, at vice president level 30 years, and I said, is that all there is? We're working 60 hours a week. They're like, okay, I know there's something I, I need to be doing differently. I know there's something I want to be doing. Well, how do I do it? And how do I find other people that are in that same inquiry? So why go back to school to do a graduate degree in leadership? The concept of leadership was what inspired me. I wanted to see how perspectives on leadership had changed. How can understanding the SJPD leadership? Three months after I left police work, I began this program. Uh, for me, I have so much more to offer. Many of us tend to relate leadership with people who are in positions of management or high-ranking officials. It's less about one individual directing everybody to go off and do something, and more about everybody in the room understanding that they've got the power. What can we do in this room? It's more about helping people sort of see within themselves how they can contribute than me saying, okay, you need to do X, Y, and Z. We don't tell people how to practice leadership. We try to widen the lens of leadership and deepen the engagement of learning and then let them find their unique expression of that. The Master's Leadership Program here has been able to blend leadership principles that we've all been taught and the power of self-discovery. I'm able to kind of take more of a risk to put more of myself out there. Sense of self lets you take action. Your child is sick and your boss is flying around the world and there's been a crisis at work. Leadership is what happens then. They're not just living in the classroom. This is not research that sits on a shelf. After going through this program, what they want to do is bring back what they've learned about 21st century leadership and apply it to their real world experiences. The world is changing. We don't know what the world is going to be like tomorrow. If you look around the world, it's not hard to see we're facing challenges that we've never faced before. What we do, or fail to do, how can we work this out? There's got to be a better way. That's what people are searching for. This is something really important. It makes sense. We're dealing with international and cross-cultural issues where there are people who finally are being allowed to be heard. You know, in a perfect world, what would you like to see? What other questions do we want to ask next? This program, I think, was to fill in the gap. My only regret, perhaps, is I didn't do it a little sooner. If you can devote some time to you, do that. Life brings you wonderful things if you're, if you're open to the possibilities. Mm -hmm.